Okay, in this video, I'm going to take a look at actually calculating the sine, cosine and tangent or sine, cos and tan of uh, some unknown angles. Um, so I have two examples here, um, two right angle triangles uh, with angles labeled A and B in each of them. I'm going to calculate the sine, cos and tan of each angle in these triangles. Okay, so when I'm looking at sine, cos and tan, I always bring it back to this, SOHCAHTOA. I'll always write this up somewhere on the page. So I'm going to write it here, SOHCAHTOA. And what this means is sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, tan is opposite over adjacent. So let's calculate here the sine of A. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, sine of A. Here's A. What side is opposite A? That's 3. What side is the hypotenuse? The hypotenuse is always opposite the right angle, so that's 5. So the sine of A is equal to 3 over 5. Cos of A. Cos is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Here's A. Adjacent is the one beside it, that's 4. Over the hypotenuse, which is the same as before, 5. And then tan. The tan of A is the opposite over the adjacent. So the opposite to A is 3. The adjacent to A is 4. So that's the sine, cos and tan of A. Okay, let's do the sine, cos and tan of B. So the sine of B. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Now this is where you need to be careful because we're looking at this angle B now. The opposite is now here, it's four. So whereas before the opposite was three, that's in relation to A. In relation to B, the opposite is 4. The hypotenuse, however, always stays the same. That's always going to be the longest side, the side opposite the right angle. So sine of B is 4 over 5. Cos of B. Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent is 3. Hypotenuse is 5. And then the tan of B. is opposite over adjacent. Here's B, opposite is four, and adjacent is three. So it's four over three. Okay, let's move on to our second triangle. So I'm gonna calculate the sine, cos, and tan of A. So sine A, opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite is 12. Hypotenuse is 13. It's across from the right angle. Cos of A. Adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent is 5. Hypotenuse is 13. And then the tan of A. Tan is opposite over adjacent. Opposite is 12. Adjacent is 5. Let's go for the sine, cos and tan of B. Sine B. This time we're looking at this angle. So it's opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite is 5. Hypotenuse is 13. Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. Cos of B. <clears throat> adjacent is 12. Hypotenuse is 13. And then the tan of B is equal to opposite over adjacent. Opposite is 5. Adjacent is 13. Sorry. 
The adjacent is 12, that one there. So it's 5 over 12. Okay, in the next video, um, I'm going to take a look at how do we use these ratios, the sine, the cos and tan, to actually find out or calculate the size of these unknown angles. And I'll show you that in the next video. Okay, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. And I'll see you next time.